everybody get your fucking hands up Hey, how's it going, bro? This is a gamers portal here today, and today we are back with another GTA 5 mod video. That's about the GTA 5 map editor. By the name, it's very clear what it is map editor. But if you still don't know, uh, you'll get to know after seeing the gameplay. Just type in GTA 5 map editor in Google, and you'll get the website named GTA 5 mods.com. Open it. You'll get the download button, but wait, you don't have to download it now. Scroll down, you will get some prerequisites. There are you must have script hook 5, you must have C redistributable, you have must have the latest version of script hook 5.net and the native UI. Well, I'll download the native UI. Just go click on the link there and click on the download button here. It's a DLL file basically, which is in a zip. Now, once you have the native UI downloaded, get back and now. Uh, I'll tell you how you can uh, install scripthook.net. Just type in in the Google and then click on the first website that is community scripthook5.net and click on the download button. Click on the link here, it will transport you to a web page of GitHub and there you have to download scripthook5.net.zip. And once you have, you have to download the map editor. Once you have all the three files downloaded, the map editor file, the native UI file and the script hook.net file, you need to extract them one by one like I'm extracting the map editor file. Okay, extract. You'll get a couple of files here, uh, editor files and a map editor folder. You have to just copy them all. Go to your GTA 5 game directory and here you have to create a folder named scripts, S-C-R-I-P-T-S. Make sure it's case sensitive. To type them all in small letters now you have to paste them all here again you have to get back uh, to where you have downloaded and here you need to extract the native UI file now I'll said I told you that you'll get a DLL again copy that DLL and paste it in your GTA 5 I have already pasted that so it's showing to replace but it will not show in yours now again you have the script hook.net Extract it. You have the files SDK and ASI. That now no need to mess up with the readme file. You have two DLLs in the SDK. You need to simply go in and copy them here. And then you have the script hook.net.asi file again. Get back here and copy them. That's it, once you are done, you are ready for opening your game. Once inside the game, let's check it out if the map editor really works. You need to press the F7 key on your keyboard and you'll get a many number of options. Uh, you can select them with your mouse or you can use the I and K key to move up and down. Here I will click on enter exit map editor. You can see it looks like a 3D camera and you can move all across the city. We can move underground to see if there are any subways, you can uh, move across buildings, trees, boundaries, anywhere you like. And now we have to specify about it that you can delete, copy and move entitled keys. Like you can see on the screen there are a number of options. I'll copy that entitled key with, by pressing the C key and uh, uh, let's place it somewhere here. You look great here, okay? now let's see that now let me show you guys what is the delete key uh, how you can delete real objects in the in game so we have the pole you just look at it and press the delete key on your keyboard the things get deleted here we have post box we can delete them all one by one the in game objects get deleted permanently we can also move uh, people like i moved this man from here Let's check it out the move feature again like a move select it and then again I'll move that person okay um you be here okay you be here another important feature of the map editor that is that you can spawn vehicles uh, on your map like uh, you can press V key to spawn vehicles like I'll be spawning a helicopter here we have uh, the cargo bob 
select it and you can have it on your map and we can move that of course we can move that we can move that helicopter like a uh, you know uh, what we call a toy helicopter select it and then press the arrow key to move the helicopter as you want and you can see now and you can also spawn civilians up here you can press the p key and it displays uh, the list of all civilians present in the game like currently i have spawned this auto shop worker and again you can move him like a soft tar, like he was nothing okay that was the power of map editor guys that was the power so if you guys know how you have installed the map editor when we are not done we have a surprise for you you can see this video it's like a jetpack actually we have found a way through which we can have jetpack uh, we have a jetpack mod in GTA 5 so if you want to know how you can install that help me reach my first 50 subscribers from this video and help me share this video so much that uh, the views on this video get about 1k if you do that I'll tell you how you can install the jetpack mod in GTA 5 so that was it guys I hope you enjoyed the video subscribe to this channel if you got to know something new today and share the video as much as you can. Bye-bye.